Hi everyone. Now in this session, let us see how to construct a Mohr machine for any particular objective. Okay. So here, let us uh, see the problem. Construct Mohr machine that prints A whenever the sequence 0, 1 is encountered in any input binary data. Okay. Now for example, input binary data where in which the sequence should be zeros and ones. That means the input binary data should consist of zeros and ones only. Like this 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 like this. this like this uh, we should have the input binary string. So that's why the set of input consists of the input variable 0, 1. So in this objective when 0, 1 sequence is encountered we need to print A. So what should be our output? Output uh, set consists of a as one variable and there may be another variable also. So that's why the set of output set may be represented with delta with two variables A as well as B. Okay. So now let us try to construct a more machine as we know that in more machine which consists of states with the input variables and the outputs are associated with the states only. Unlike uh, Mele machine, in Mele machine here we represent the uh, outputs, but in Mohr machine we represent the outputs in a, uh, which are associated with states only. Okay, now let us take one example as the input binary data. This is the input binary data 0, 1, 1, 0. Now initially we have 0 as the input. So initially we are at what state? We are at state A. Okay, now to this state A, we are giving 0 as input. We are giving 0 as input. Then it goes to state B. Understand? Then it goes to state B with what output? B only. So that's why that output B here I have represented. Now I am at this state B with what input? 0 input. After that A, we have moved to state B. Now here there are two cases of inputs. Either it may be 0 or 1. Initially, we have started with 0 and our objective is 0, 1 is the sequence, then it should print A. Understand? So, for this B, if 0 is the input, it has to stay at this B only because here for this B, what is the output B? Understand? So, B is the output. Next, if 1 is the input, it moves to other state C with what output? A. Okay, now here you can clearly observe we have, if we have the sequence of input 0, 1, you will be at state C with output what? A. So that is what our objective. If the input sequence consists of 0, 1, it should print A. We reach it to C. Then obviously we have the output of A only. Understand? Now, V comes to, now we are at state C. Now we are at this state C. There are two possibilities. The C state may have the input 0 or 1. So, if the input is 0, then it goes to, it is diverted to B. Why we have diverted it to B is, after this 0, there may be a chance of getting 1. If 1 comes, then obviously it should move to C. Then only we will get A. Clear? So, for this 0 sequence, sequence is closed. If here it is 0 started, 0 to 1 sequence, you are printing A. At this here, if we have 0, then it should end with 1. If it ends with 1, then immediately 0, 1 sequence is achieved. So, that's why you are getting the output A. Understand? Next, there is another possible out input that may be 1. If 0, it goes to B, it will be in self state with output B. So, here we are at C. Okay, with output A, then after that immediately we have 1. If 1 is the output, where it should go? It goes to state A, it goes to state A with output B, with output B. So, why V comes here? Because if we stay here only, without 0, 1 sequence, it prints A again. So, that's why we move to here. Understand? So, if we are present here at this state, if 1 comes, it is 0, it is 1. If 1 comes, it will stay here only. If again 1, 0 comes, it moves to state B. After that, if it is 0, it will be in self state. After that, if we have 0, 1 sequence, again it comes to state C. So, like that, 
in the input sequence if we have 0 1 it prints a whenever the sequence 0 1 is encountered it prints a okay so let us go for another example here 0 1 0 1 we have taken so what is the first bit here 0 now we are at state a the input to this state a is b then it moves to state b okay then it moves to state b here next we are at the state b immediately we have the uh, input of 1 so as we know that 0 1 is encountered it should out, its output should be a so that's why obviously it has to move to c so it goes to state c with output a so if 0 1 sequence is encountered it print a clearly again now we are at state c if 0 is the input if 0 is the input it goes to b understand for example instead of that if we stay here with 0 what happens if he stays at the c then it prints a so it is wrong because we have the sequence 1 0 even 1 0 if we stay there only it prints a so it is wrong so that's why we have moved to state b understand so we have moved to state b instead of keeping instead of staying here we moved to state b with what output b only so 1 0 sequence we are printing only b not a so after that we have another one now we are at b if one is there as input then now it moves to c here we have another sequence of 0 1 obviously it should end with a so here the logic is if we start with 0, there is 1, it should lead to, it should lead to the output, whatever the desired output, a, something like this here, we move to there, understand? So, I hope you understand this is the method to construct a more machine based on our requirement, okay? Thank you.